Hey man, what's up with y'all, man? Thank you for tuning in to No Cap TV, man. It's your boy Hollywood Reek, and it's your boy Matt. Hey man, and today it's the first episode, but they ain't stopping shit. You feel me? We coming straight at your ass, four K cinematic HD, however you want to do it. You feel me? But you know what I'm saying? Where we gonna start at? Is, um, excuse that. We gonna start right about here in Arizona, where the cab is like no other. I don't yeah. know if y'all can see that, but um, the cap is at an all-time high. It's at an all-time high right now, man. Y'all thought COVID was a problem. Oh These God. motherfuckers is capping in they raps. They 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 capping in raps. They capping in they games. In they snaps. In they snaps. Niggas capping on their snaps, posting their homeboys' man, money, on their, man, and all that kind of crazy shit. Man, bro. these niggas at the rental car place capping in the rental cars. How niggas. you how you capping in a rental car? That shit crazy. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie, bro. Back in the day, high school man. type shit. My daddy rented me a car. The price of three hundred. Huh? I told everybody that bitch was mine. <laughs> oh God! You know what I'm saying? Some cap, some cap is uh, oh, cap you, can, you can you can do a little capping, but no, not today. We ain't doing no capping today, man. This is no cap TV, man. Where like I said, you sit on this couch, and you saying you get the capping on this shit. We will pull your motherfucking records. I'm up, talking man. about flag on the plate. We will pull it up. So now you feel me? Don't come on this motherfucker because it, it it'll, it'll be real bad for you. So, like I said, we're going to keep it all the way 100. And that's what we're here to do, really. All, all serious, man. We're here to uh, give y'all game. You know what I'm saying? Teach y'all the game. Motivate the motivate youth. Motivate the youth. You know what I'm saying? And, and keep y'all in tune exactly, to the shit that's going on exactly. around the world right now, especially in Arizona, especially with the cap, and especially like all the events, all the new fly shit. Y'all going to see us out in the street. We got a cold street team. We outside man. asking uh, YouTube questions, TikTok man. questions, crazy shit and like that. And we will insert that so you can see a, uh, see a sneak, peek, sneak of peek of that. But um, like I say, man, like I say, all seriousness, um, we here to, man, just talk to y'all, let y'all know what's going on in AZ, man, you feel me? AZ That's is a wonderful man. place, you feel me? So, like I said, we just here to motivate the youth, and, uh, yeah, we finna, we finna get into it, man. We finna get into it. So, uh, first thing I wanna know about, bro, how you feel about that blue face and Kishan <laughs> issue, bro? Like, hey, I ain't gonna lie, That shit I crazy, it. like. Man, what they say? Sips tea. Uh, on some real shit. That I got a sips tea because, uh, what they got going on, and look. I don't want, like, the youth, the youth is paying attention to what's going on with that. And I don't want y'all to yes. sit there and be like, that's what kind of relationship y'all should have. Because that's a very toxic stage. What they got going and they promoting it. Y'all don't want to be like that. But it is some, it is some shit. And, they, and I don't know, man. How, how you feeling about it? I feel like on some real shit, I couldn't deal with her, bro. <laughs> but at the same time. <laughs> you couldn't deal with her or you couldn't deal with him, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah at the same like, time, they both, I feel like they made for each other because they both goofy. But they, they super toxic. You know, and but a lot of that shit be for ratings, I think. They yeah. doing that shit for ratings. You know, they got TV shows, and they trying to stay popular. So whatever you can do to stay popping and whatever, a lot of that shit is happening right now. He didn't, he didn't got her pregnant. <laughs> he didn't got, what's, what's her name? Christian pregnant. Just had the baby. Boom. Then proposed to, uh, what's her name? Jaden or something, his baby mama? Jaden. What, what, who would you rather have if you had to choose? Would you oh, rather have Christian or Jaden? Mm -hmm. Let's not cap about it, y'all. So, um, we gonna, um, I'm going to say me personally, I ain't going to lie. I would probably stick with my baby mama just because, uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I think, like like I said, never mind. I ain't, don't get me the line. Yeah. So, I ain't, I think that's his baby mama. They've been together since high school, and they got history. Krishan Rock nobody's. was just like a, you feel me? Krishan Rock was just like a, a fling, you know what I'm saying? And, and she was too... She too, I don't know. I hate clingy bitches like that. I, I hate know. them extra needy and <laughs> all on me and want to get move around. God damn. Yeah. So me personally, I would probably choose the BM. What about you? I think I probably would choose uh, old girl too. Old girl, yeah. Because, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? He already got a, well, now he got a baby with both of their ass. And I, <laughs> I can't even say that, but. Stuck. He stuck. But I think he, uh, I think everybody know what kind of person Blueface is. So if you do, if you did get yourself in a situation with him. You know what I'm saying? Hey, live to fight another day. That is a real so, toxic relationship. Like, have yeah. you ever had a toxic relationship, bro? Like, man, have I? <laughs> you feel <laughs> me? Hey, I feel like everybody's had a toxic relationship, but I feel like as you get older, you should grow from them. And you know what I'm saying? But it don't look like they kind of growing from that. It looks like they kind of just egging it on. Repeating the same shit over and over hey, and over. Hey, you know what I'm saying? What they say is insanity to, to do something over and over you and expect, expect different results. You feel me? Let's, hey, you got to be let's insane. Let's talk about it and let's not cap about it, y'all. Hey, we ain't on here just to talk shit, man. We on here to drop jewels and, and really get y'all the game. You feel me? So, and feeling yeah. our, my, our opinion on the bullshit that's going on. Right, right. Because this know? is all opinionated. We ain't... We ain't uh, speaking facts, but we ain't capping either. So you can do what you want with that one. You feel me? Lighter, it, bitch. Hold on. Mm-hmm. But why? Another he... thing, bro. A lot of shit been going on. Like you know, 
the 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 freakiness and the, the way the world is like you know going with the Sukiyanas and the sexy reds and all that type of shit. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let, let, I like that. So look, let's talk about it. Okay, what I don't like about today's I say today's generation because you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's that's what I meant to say. You generation. feel me? I don't know. I ain't a really part of this generation. I'm still young as hell, but I, I feel like I was in a I caught the last end of the you know what I'm saying the, the right generation. Are the real nigga. Are the real you know are the real niggas. So many niggas solid like left like that. Exactly. So what I'm saying is what they teaching these kids to do and what's okay you know what I'm saying? Hey, this like, it's it's pathetic. Honestly, you know what I'm saying? These females yes. don't know how to be in a relationship. They don't they don't know how to trust dudes. Dudes doing whatever they want in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? It's a it's a double. Feminine man, the gay agenda they pushing man, out there. Exactly, man. Shout out to the LGBTQLTA people. You know what I'm saying? We don't got nothing against them. One two threes. And the one two threes. We don't got nothing against y'all. But like I say, I feel like that's cool for y'all to be shoving that agenda down the kids' throat. If you want to be gay, that's do that and be you. If you want to be LBGQ or whatever. This is no cap TV. So it's no gonna, cap TV. So I got, I got to give it to you raw. You feel me? Hey. If you want to, if you, if that's you, be you. But don't shove it down the kid's throat. Right, like, That's man. the only thing I see that's wrong with that. Facts, facts. And I feel like, don't, they, you got cartoons pr uh, promoting this, you know what I'm saying? Yes, bro. Let them grow up and, and, and choose their path where they want to go, you know, know what I'm saying? Yeah. How they they be saying, do you, do you think you can be born, like, gay or type that type of shit? Like, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What? <laughs> Nigga, hold on, what? <laughs> like Dwayne Wade. Uh -huh. His son, like in eighth grade. He, oh, he, yeah, and he let him. Okay, so look, that's a good <coughs> that's a good time because he's being a supportive parent. Because I feel like if you go if you be too hard on your on your kids and that's kind of what the route they already showing you, you're gonna make it worse on y'all relationship. So if y'all got a good if you trying to have a good relationship with your kid and, and they trying and they finding themselves or whatever they got going, even though you might not agree with it, I understand. What he's saying, like, would I be okay with how Dwayne Wade handled the situation? Honestly, I probably wouldn't. But like I say, it's a different day and age. So, like, for him to have a relationship with his son slash daughter, I feel like he, <laughs> I feel like he had to. I feel like he had to. He had to accept it, man. We in twenty twenty three, though. But what, what you feel about? It? I know you wouldn't have that shit. <laughs> Exactly. Son, we gonna get you some pussy too. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? So I understand it. God man. damn! I think that's, I think that's every father's worst nightmare. Man, you know what I'm what saying? What did they say? Man, what? Man, what? <laughs> to have your son come out like that? You know, you gotta. I guess you gotta accept it for what it is. But at the same time, bro. Man, that's what they say. That's every you... straight dad's worst nightmare. Would you have, Would you rather have a thought daughter or a gay son? Damn. You guys, you have to have your daughter busting it, and you know about it, and, and your family know about it, and her peoples know about it, or would you have rather have a gay son? At that point, I think I still. <laughs> that's a hard one, but I don't know. Like, I think having a gay son is worse. I feel, me too. I ain't gonna lie. No, we we not capping today. Cause like, cause, uh, what, cause that kind of shows like you know your son is a reflection of you. Of you. So yeah. what did you teach your son? How did he go that route? Some but I feel of, like dang, some type see, of disconnection there. Yeah, some type of disconnect. But then it's like, like I say, it this like I say back to we coming back to the generation where it's so free. Internet is so accessible. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. gonna use some some decent sized words over here. Nigga did yeah. go to college. Yeah. Nigga, yeah. Did, nigga did get a full ride. <laughs> the end you feel me? <laughs> go Devils. You feel me? But anyway, <laughs> you feel me? But um, yeah, I, like I say, man, this generation is. It's so accessible, you know what I'm saying? So much on the internet, influence. A lot of people are easily influenced nowadays yes. because if your mind ain't strong, you can be took anywhere with some type of influence. Somebody's popping. <laughs> <laughs>
Man. It's gonna be a lot of shit jumping off. We're gonna be doing a lot of ep- I mean, you know, giveaways, events. I wanna do like Power Puff Girl football to where we got the Ooh, girls. Or if we and, do some shit like that and, or and basketball games and shit like that. Playing basketball or football. I wanna right. do a feed the homeless. Oh yeah, we gonna get right. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean it's, it's stuff we really already been doing. It's just and we ain't brought it to the public. We ain't, so. it, we ain't videotaping. We ain't videotaping. That's so. it. Another thing, bro, I wanna ask, cause you know, before we leave a section of this generation and oh, yeah, like, this sex yeah, sales yeah. and yeah. you know the whole thing, you know, right now sex is a big symbol <laughs> for everything. Yeah. You know, like I was just saying that, you know, how you can be somebody trying so hard or whatever, trying to get your content out there. Mm-hmm. And for males, I mean, this is just male and female type shit. A male trying to get his content out there and your shit ain't going nowhere. And the female can jump on there and get the shaking ass. Oh, yeah. And don't don't got to be the prettiest girl in the world. She just got a nice ass and her shit busting. <laughs> hey, How I, you feel about hey, that? Uh, I, can't, <laughs> I can't even feel no way about it because I, I, I'm... Um, I'm subjective to them likes on Instagram as well. You feel me? So, uh, you feel me? Get your money how you get your money. Somebody got to do it. You feel me? But I'm not, I understand how it's, it's easy for a female to get in the (coughs) dough nowadays. You know what I'm saying? But that that shouldn't be, if you're a female, let's talk about it. If you're a female showing your body or doing explicit content, shouldn't be your way in the dough. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't going to lie to you. It might last a we gonna, okay, we're going to get into another segment right here, but I'm going to just, we're going we gonna to speed past this and we're going to come back to it. Yeah. A female in her, you know, 18, about 30, them her, her, uh, her, her what they call the heydays. Her whole days. Her hey, hey, ho days. <laughs> yeah. Bitch, we're going to let you out the stable. But, you fear me, after you 30 and you didn't bust, you didn't pussy popped on the headstand and you didn't bust it open, you know what I'm saying? A male's longevity in the game is way longer than a female's. A 30-year-old male... It's not the same as a 30-year-old female. Yes. If a female 30 and she didn't she didn't been around the block a few times, yeah, her ass gonna end, she yeah. gonna end on that block a few times. A dude can go do whatever he can go. A, a male can do whatever he wanna do. When it's time for him to settle down at 30, it's gonna be he's gonna have more options. He's gonna have his pick of the litter because now you might be I ain't saying nothing wrong with being a female that's 30 and single with kids, but that's a, you got you got some baggage. You got some shit. A, a, you feel a, a, me? A man that's thirty years old on his shit that don't got no kids is gonna want a female with no kids. He's gonna go for a female with no kids that's on her shit faster than a female that's on her shit with kids. I'm sorry, but Simple. that's the honest truth. Simple, it's the truth. And I and I really preach that because you know what I'm saying. Me, I got I'm the youngest. I'm the youngest of three. Uh, three. I got three sisters and I got a brother that passed. So I'm the youngest. So I didn't grew up around females and seen how that how that worked. And you know what I'm saying. It, it, it's it's low key crazy because like I say you can be you can as a woman gets up in age I don't know if they expect more from a dude it's hard it's harder for them to get into a relationship I feel like unless you're just the baddest motherfucker in the world <laughs> you feel me so yeah honestly another thing bro how you feel about you know this nigga got weed man he I'm, I didn't got high off my contact nigga don't smoke I, I, I don't I even drink like... nigga. I want to pass this motherfucker right. to this you feel nigga. Me? nigga don't want to take the motherfucker. I ain't even going to pass it to my nigga on camera. You feel me? But yeah, what you say? But how you feel about like motherfuckers spitting in each other's mouths and Ooh, all that type of on. shit? Like, hey. I mean, it, are well, you that freaky? Hey, hold on. We, <laughs> we ain't going to talk. We ain't going to get that. Hey. Motherfucker, motherfucker ain't, ain't motherfucker ain't spitting shit over about. here. It's been on this motherfucker. You feel yeah, me? Down here. But we. Motherfucker ain't that motherfucker. Yeah, I'm not. Nobody. Ain't no bitch spinning in my mouth. We're going to cut that. We're going to nip that in the bud right now. But, um, yeah, I, I, you know what I'm saying? I'll spin the bitch mouth. 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 Big loogie in that motherfucker. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Pause, nigga. This nigga said spin a loogie in the bitch mouth. This out of die. Now that's that he out of pocket and he did not cap about it because he he said that little too true for me. Look, oh man, <laughs> bro, if you had to choose, if you had to choose, if you had to pick Sukiyana or or you keep on saying Sukiyana, who the fuck? These, these, who these, the fuck Sukiyana, is Sukiyana? These are nasty hoes, right? I don't now. even know no damn who. What song she sing? I don't know her. I songs. don't know no Sukiyana, but sexy red. I know she. We gonna talk about her. Then she just got a video leak and and she cap. See, Where the cap at? She cap in. She cap in her rap. The you, bitch. Hey, she she said, what she say? Pussy pink, her booty hole brown. Her pussy I, black, the booty hole black. <laughs> what are you talking about? Hey, the bitch, you can't, that's what I'm saying, bro. You can't make songs to be capping in it. That's what I'm saying. Like, back to that. If you, if you, were, if you a young male and you in this rap game, man, 
and you never shot nobody. Stop talking about Stop all talking the shooting about and, 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 all yeah. that, <laughs> and all that shit, man. It's all right to be yourself, man. These people, like I said, these kids are being heavily, easily influenced, influenced and it's crazy and my because is dying about and they that dying shit. about that. So, like I said, you can get a kid, a good kid, and he want to get on a song and talk that gangster shit. Somebody gonna try you on that gangster shit. You yeah. feel me? You might, wanna, they want to see about man, it. They, they gonna, gonna really see about, about that it. And like I say, this internet is so easy to get up with somebody. That's why I'm saying you gotta be careful how you approach people, how you talk to people. Like I say, we live in Arizona, it's a right to carry state. You know what I'm saying? You will get your ass smoked. You get your ass smoked. You will get your ass, ass rolled like that fucking Fonta Grabber. Grab a leaf, he rolled and smoking over there. This would be you. So, like around. I say, if, if you into something, you know what I'm saying, or if you want to pursue a rap career or whatever, it's okay to be yourself, man. Like like I say, me, I ain't never smoked. I, I barely, I'm I'm drinking a damn dainty ass twisted tea, nigga. Yeah. So, Just I don't tea. drink, you feel me? And you ain't don't never gonna, shit about the, Don't say shit about in the comments about us, us drinking this motherfucker. Man, twisted right. Tea, you feel man, me? You know me, me and this bitch getting twisted. No, don't get your ass twist, squeezed yeah. in this motherfucker. Don't get it twisted. This ain't twister, man. Hey. This ain't Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> right. You understand I me? twist your bitch legs up. That's how I'm feeling. You <laughs> feel me? But, twisted, hey. Nigga, <laughs> right. Fort Nelson, nigga. Stop playing with me. But, uh, like I say, man, be yourself. That's all we want people to do is because, like, being I feel a, like you, that's part of the daily motivation too. Be yourself. Daily, be yourself, man. Stop be, being big. these made up characters because, like I say, that's really not gonna you get. Never get it's nowhere. not gonna get you nowhere. Or if it do get you what? somewhere, it's gonna get you somewhere that you don't want to be. You I, can't, I, I if you're trying to be somebody else, you I'm can't never see, make a move see, until they make their next move. Cheese, you know what I'm saying? Right, you can't, you can't be nothing until they be something. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. always to be one step behind. Waiting on them to do something for you to right. follow or copy and all that shit. And they say it's people that's I mean, born to be that's followers that's and it's people that's born to be leaders. Right. Who are you? Who are you? Look Who in the mirror and, and tell yourself shit. Convince yourself, I'm a leader, I'm a leader, I'm a leader. Or I'm a follower, I'm a follower, I'm a follower, and be that. You feel me? Because it, it really ain't that hard. You know what I'm saying? If you got a, a lot of, that's what the other thing, a lot of people don't got no identity nowadays. They want to be somebody yeah. else. So it's like, if you, you got your own identity, you got your own character. People gonna fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? Like I, like I say, like me, I ain't never had them. You know what I'm saying? I got everybody got friends that you know went down the wrong path. That's in the streets, in the field, doing whatever they doing. You feel mm -hmm. me? But yeah, if you I'm not having, if you not right, if you not easily <laughs> influenced, bro, you gonna strive regardless, bro. Like I didn't been around all of that. I still went to college. You know what I'm saying? I still did my thing. You know what I'm saying? Never touched no drugs. So you know what I'm saying? I feel it's like the up. struggle make you, you better. Me? The Facts. struggle. It, you got to go through something to be something. You know Adversity, what that's what they call it. So if it wasn't for no struggle, you and you would have never, you know, went through nothing to want to go be something. And then yeah. learn from some mistakes. If you see a motherfucker literally going through something and struggling, why go use down your that eyes? Same path? You know what I'm saying? Use your eyes. Use your ears. You got two eyes and two ears, and one mouth. That means shut the fuck up and look and listen, motherfucker. Why? That's all you got to do. So you know what I'm saying? God gave you these things. He just wants your <laughs> ass to use them. You feel me? That's it. That's it. That's really all it is. You feel me? Use them, motherfucker. Use them. So you know. But anyways. Yeah, man. So how you been feeling, man? Who the fuck? I want to know. Let the people know who the fuck is Rico, man. Man, who is Rico, man? It's crazy you know? because I remember in high school, man. If y'all, I'm black and Filipino. So if y'all know, Filipino is a um, it's a Pacific Islander. It's Asian, right? Yeah. But I go by Rico. Motherfuckers be like. I remember when, because I ain't start going by Rico till I got into high school. That You know what I'm saying? That's when I found myself and shit like that. But I remember being at the football games and my mama coming. And everybody coming up to me. What's up, Rico? What's up, Rico? And she looking around like, who, who is Rico? Who is Rico? And then she like, this nigga Asian. Like, how you got a motherfucking Rico now? Like, so, Rico slide. You feel me? So, I, I, um, man, Rico is a, a cool, calm, and collected man. I'm a Libra, so I feel like that's the best sign in the world because we so balanced. You know what I'm saying? We we so calm. We don't like uh, what they call it. We don't. Damn, what the fuck they call it? We don't like um conflict, but if it is conflict, it ain't nothing. You feel me? Yeah. So, um, that's who I am, man. I'm I'm very chill. You know what I'm saying? I'm laid back in the cut. You know, I said I like to talk shit. I like to laugh. I like to have fun. I like you feel me? Rico just was like a person where you know what I'm saying I give you my last if I had it. If you my dog, I'm riding with you, right or wrong. But in private, I'm gonna tell you it was wrong. You know what I'm saying? Never bring it to you in uh, in public. But you know what I'm saying? That's always been the type of person I was, man. I, I went to school. Graduated with a degree, you know what I'm saying? I work in a farm. I, I work with real drugs, nigga. I work with real yeah. drugs. I insert a pitch in the clip right here. Who got the big bucks? Big bucks, no whammies. You know what I'm saying? Pour up drink. I'm pouring up. Hold on. Pour up drink. Real Percocet. I got real I oxygen. Right here. I got, what What Dirk say? He said, nigga, he say he don't need no about drugs. He say Lee Oxycontin. You ain't even know about that. You need, and you niggas need to stop doing drugs, nigga, because it I ain't gonna lie. It ain't no such thing as a perk 30. So anybody saying they pop perk 30s, they lying, nigga, because it ain't no such thing as a perk 30. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, 
Yeah, yeah that's what I, that's stop who I am. You feel me? Stop yeah. capping on that shit. Yeah, man. Stop capping in your motherfucking raps. You know what I'm saying? So let me let's go. Who, who, who you want to go by? Matt? Who who is Matt, oh, yeah. man? Who is yeah, Matt? Yeah. Man? Well, Matt, you know, Matt came around. It's <laughs> always, you know, I, I'm the Mac family. If you know Matt, me, yeah. you know me. You, you know, know who me. I am. We ain't gonna talk about that. You gotta keep that under wraps. So that's like one of them, one of them things. Yeah. A lot of people may know me by either bank, yep. or a lot of people may even might know me by Mac. And then depends on how much you know me yep. is which name you may call me, or niggas may call me both, or whatever. But I came from Kelly. You know, I grew up in Fresno, California. Hard life, nigga. Came from nothing, <laughs> rats and roaches, nigga. Rats I remember he was high stepping in the kitchen. I'm over talking here. about. I can remember my older brother. This nigga crazy. He had catch the motherfucking rats, bro, and, and put them in a, like a five gallon bucket, nigga, and set the bucket on fire. Oh, he a wild ass. And this nigga be and, and be talking to the other rats like, y'all see y'all boy? Oh, hell no. Y'all see him. This nigga, he's, he's, a, he's a real killer. Yeah, he's a real killer. This nigga's crazy, right? My oldest brother, shout out to my oldest brother, man. Why see That nigga's crazy, bro. But nigga, so I grew sick, up, bro. I really came from nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? Then when I moved to AZ with my pops, and nigga ain't got a second chance. You know what I mean? At life and was able to uh, go a separate path. You know, I had, like bro said, it's a lot of people that I know that grew up gang banging and into all different kind of shit and went a different route and a lot of niggas dead, a lot of niggas in jail, a lot of niggas still sitting on the porch not doing nothing, doing niggas the same ain't even shit. Jumped off the porch. Niggas in the back room, they ain't even on the porch. Never even jumped off the porch. <laughs> Motherfuckers never even made it out of California. So I'm low key glad that my dad was able to get me out that environment to show me new shit. There's a lot of shit that he introduced me to that I didn't even know about. Like, I didn't yeah. even know what a Bentley was. Like yeah. how Dirk said that shit, and niggas don't even know what a motherfucking AP is. Nah, that's real shit. Like I back that. in the day, because the the environment you're in, you're not looking at that. The the shit that you grew up around, motherfuckers is thinking about killing, dealing, and how to get some little fake little piece of money. You know, yeah. nobody's trying to own nothing and have nothing and really put motherfuckers on and show people shit. You know, so. When I came out here to AZ with my pops, he kind of showed me a different way, and I was cool, so that kind of made me into a different person. And now here we are today. I, if you know I do motherfucking music, you can Man. look me up on all your favorite platoons as uh, YCM. Pla <laughs> platoons, Platoon. fucking you, up, Nigga drunk, hey, nigga twisted, you got a nigga twisted. Yeah, you yeah you nigga twisted. Ah. But on your platforms, look me up on all your flavor platforms. Flavor. Nigga, flavor, favorite. Nigga twisted, boy. Fuck this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they but, didn't even hear all that. But, but anyways, yeah, anyway, like I say, you know. man, so I like how he just described himself. Now, I'm going to give you my perspective of who I, who I see Bank or Mac up at. Uh, Bank, look, I'm twisted. <laughs> who I see Mac or Bank up at. my friends that know me as both names. You, know you feel saying? me? Like, me and him, man, it was crazy because when I ran into him, just looking at him, he was just a funny-ass nigga. Just like, you know, when you meet somebody, you be like, I'm going to be, this nigga funny as hell. He, he going to be one of them guys. And when I met him, when I, he said he did everything. He do everything. This man do music. He's bad. I get bleeding, it's not my fault that you broke while you in me Smoking big ass in the trap like a chill Would you smith on that coupe, bitch, I spent at the dentist Big body hogging both lane when I weed If I like with it, cause she can ride up the teeth When she suck it, she say this, this in the mix Got my shit up, baby, but the way you be spinning Bust out the flower, let's get to this chicken You dick ass, yes, I ain't smoking a minute I sat down for that work, how I did it You know I'm a fiend for the cash, I need it Pop a molly while she pop a titty My diamonds, Ellie, it ain't talking about he do cover art. You need clothes done. You need toes done. <laughs> he need right? Hey, oh, oh, me, me, me. Like he, he was just one of them people where it's like, man, I really fuck with him because he, he himself, he ain't trying to be nobody else, and he, he been through something in life. So uh, the more people you surround yourself with, like I said, a smart man learn from his mistakes, but a genius learn from another man's mistakes. So if you get people around you that been through stuff that can tell you, like I say, and listen. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be, you going to do great in life. You're going to go far because, like I said, I got around him. He done been through his stuff. So we we, we can have sit downs and it's talk okay about it. It's okay to listen to so It's okay. Like, nobody's trying to little boy nobody. Everybody's, like I say, everybody here for, you know what I'm saying? To, to better each other. Good so, advice, take that advice. Yeah, that's my. That's nigga my, that genuinely is fucking with you, they say, hey, man, I see this. You should yeah. try, like, at least try that. Yeah. Man, you should try that. Or if you see somebody that's doing something great in life. And you see them having everything you low key want. Nigga got a house. Don't be no hating ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? A nigga trying to, you don't have those things. A nigga trying to give you advice. Take the advice. You know what I'm saying? And then maybe it'll help you get out. And if it works, it works. It don't, it don't. It don't. You take what right. it can, what you can out of it. Exactly. 
You know, you know what I'm saying Color's mouth don't get fed. So, I swear to God, young but like I say, that's who he was when I first met him, man. And like ever since then, we've been locked in. Like I say, man, I come over here and get my clothes done. You feel me? I got some uh, some thoughts on my mind. Like that's how this podcast shit came about, man. I'm talking about literally. We was just in my boy. I wasn't in there. They was at my boy garage. And we on Facetime for three, four hours talking about we need to, you know, what I'm saying get into this. So now we bringing it to y'all live and direct. You feel me? But that's who Bank is to me when I met him. Who is Rico, man? Who is Rico? Rico, when, he, when I met this nigga, and, God damn. And we ride bikes, so that's we how we ride met. Bikes, we ride so bikes, like, like dirt bikes and quads, nigga. No? We don't ride no fucking pedal bikes, but shout out to the ones that We ride bikes for real. I'm talking about the real way. This shit is not <laughs> for the weak. You feel me? You will bust your ass fucking yeah. around, playing around. Man. But uh, rest in peace to my cousin, man, Buck, bro. This nigga introduced me to the bike scene. To... R.P. Buck, man. As y'all can see, he right here, man. He my always, nigga, I keep him close to me here. at all he times. Me all times. But my nigga, I I, had, I was already riding bikes. I think I had a bike before he did. But the connections and networks that he, he, the people that he knew, he knew other people that was riding and shit and took me around a group of niggas that was riding quads and stunting and shit. I was just riding like, I just wanted to pop up to the club and just, I thought yeah. that was cool. Just showing yes. up to the club all fresh as fuck on my bike. Like, you feel me? But then when I met these niggas doing wheelies and shit, I'm like, damn. And out of everybody, this nigga stood out. This nigga standing <laughs> on the handlebars. He going crazy. So I'm watching, bro. Like, God damn. You <laughs> God, know what well, I mean? As Mac would say, like, God, God this damn. damn. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, hey, fuck. You feel me? So, yeah. so I'm watching, bro. So a lot of niggas be haters, and and, and in the bike life, you know, it's a, it's a quiet. You know, nobody want to say nothing, but niggas be hating shit. They, you know, they don't want to give a nigga their props and all that. To give a nigga his flowers while he's still here, type shit. Facts, man. Hey, man, I come to this nigga. Hey, man, Rico, bro, that you, that's tight, bro. I want to learn that type of shit. Hey, and what I do, my nigga. Hey, do this, do that, do this, do that, do this. Man, first off, you. the first point of my nigga told me, hey, bro, learn the wheelie. Don't yeah. try to do nothing else. Learn how to wheelie and then come back to me. Boom, yeah. nigga, I learned the wheelie. Then the, the favorite trick I see this nigga do was the foot drag. We gonna insert this nigga, <laughs> a, clip. a clip of this nigga going foot crazy, doing the foot hope. drag, all that yeah. shit right here somewhere in a second, you know. You ain't never had the fast investigation. You ain't never had the bad who's wanna date you. You a bad bitch, daddy gotta spank you. My nigga fresh out the pen, he might shake you. Stand though, all right with no stock clips. If you chillin' with the ops, you get shot with. Bad hoes love a nigga out in Stockton. They let my shorty in the party with a Glock 10. But after he <laughs> after he did that, I'm sure you would want to know how to do it too. Hey, P, how do I do that? Nigga gave me a pointer, and I hit that shit. And, and not even to cut him off, bro. He got it so quick, bro. He got probably one of the fastest, you know what I'm saying, glow ups in this shit, if you want to call it. Cause like you know what I'm saying, like I say. People got two eyes and two ears for a reason, man. If you just listen and, and watch, you feel me? You can go a long way, and that's, and a, that's a life lesson. You and I like, saying? bro, because a lot of niggas that be, like, good at shit like that, niggas be cocky and, you know, <laughs> assholes, you know what I mean? They really don't fuck with motherfuckers that don't know. Like, you know, especially, like, motherfuckers, they'll look at me like, oh, this nigga's a fan. Da -da. He didn't treat me like I was a fan. He treat me like... He, he knew me, like, well, the, the vibe was there, like how bro right. said, like, okay. how he was acting. I can tell this nigga was funny. We kind of was, like, on the same page, and... Right. From that day, nigga, we just linked from the first day I met, bro. Like, yeah. I felt like I do this nigga for my whole life, man. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Here we is, man. motherfucking today. Right, and we finna go up, man. Making motherfucking podcasts, talking about no cap motherfucking TV, drinking no twisted tea. Yeah. Ooh, hey, and, and my boy rap. As y'all know, hey. my boy be rapping. And, <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie, he might be the coldest, coldest motherfucking Arizona, you feel me? Hide your mother. But, uh, mother, man. you feel you know me? So, man, what's next time? What are we talking about, man? What are we talking about? Um, I want to talk about mm, maybe like some shit going on in AZ. I want to know like, damn, what's going to AZ? We gonna talk about how it was a hundred. It's a hundred degrees in October. Let's talk about that. You feel me? We are in Arizona right now. You feel me? How than a sauna. <laughs> other places it's snowing. It's snowing in Colorado and shit like that. And nigga, it's a hundred still. A hundred still. It's October 29th, something around there. And, and y'all be, as we gonna get into it, but and man, Halloween is coming up, man. So make sure y'all be safe. Check y'all kids' candy if y'all yeah. got them, man. Check make sure y'all keeping an eye on these kids. You if know what I'm saying? Go Keep an eye on these hoes because they out here <laughs> acting up. They didn't turn Halloween. These hoes. These, they didn't, the whole didn't turn Halloween from a, a kid to the celebration kids to the grown up to day. Because motherfuckers take their kids. Take, take their kids, kids early and uh, right. your stupid ass in the house. Right. Now nah, it's time to throw this shit on. <laughs> throw that shit on. You kids. Bitch been outside since last week with Man, costume. they been more excited about Halloween. Y'all need to knock it off. Than the kids. I swear to God, y'all need to knock and, it and off. And that just goes to show you what's going on what's in going today's on AZ, yeah, yeah. All the clubs. I went to Scottsdale this weekend. I kind of yeah. did some little TikTok questions. And we're going to throw at the end of the segment, we're going to throw some like the street team shit in. When we in the mm -hmm. streets fucking with the people interacting and all that type mm -hmm. of shit. So I'm going to throw that in at the end of the segment. But. 
nigga, you, if you wasn't in Scottsdale this weekend, or yeah, I missed out downtown. Yeah, I, missed out on that. In, I would say anywhere in Arizona in the popping city, and I would say the popping spots as well. What you think the most popping spot in AZ is? See, that's that's more his lane, man. Cause y'all, I don't go out areas. I be I be chilling, but that popping areas. But you, okay, that's that's good because you're on the outside looking. Outside in. looking in. So, so on the outside looking the most in, it's popping. I hear a lot about Scottsdale. You Scottsdale, know what I'm saying? Scottsdale sure. gotta be jumping. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a club downtown called uh, Monarch. Monarch. You know what I'm saying? That be Monarch. that be okay. busting like that. But like I say, I I don't be going out. So that that's the man over here, uh, yeah, Mr. I, uh, Matt. I'm gonna have y'all outside with this you shit. Me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I don't get me wrong. I I turn up. Don't get Rico outside. You feel yeah. me? Don't it, get a fuck. Hey, up. shout out to my boy Jared, man. We took my man's there to <laughs> motherfucking the club, or he as I should say, he took me to the motherfucking yeah. club, and I was in that bitch getting. I was in there busting. What? Hard, like I said, I'm sober. See, I'm sober. Hey, stop playing. <laughs> I'll be, I'm the most soberest motherfucker, so I'm the one that's thinking and logic and you know what I'm saying, driving. But I be, I be, hey, I'm, I turn, I'm, I turn up and be sober than the motherfucker. Yeah. So I'm saying, yeah, you catch a nigga outside somewhere, man. Say what's up. Say what's up, man. You we we say local, and, and we outside for we real. We outside. You feel no, me? So fun, yeah, we ain't hard to find. Shit going on. He wants some studio time. Bang Facts. my line. You know, you want to learn how to ride a quad? Bang my line. Bang Facts. my nigga line. He hey, and that's the thing. I don't even ride no more. But I'm I'm so associated yeah. with the bike life community in Arizona, man. Tap in with me, cause if if I ain't got it or I can't get you in tune with somebody, I'm 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 I'm, I'm know a senior. I'm gonna know somebody. So, like I say, man. Yeah, so it can work out for you. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of niggas got a lot of networks going on. And we here today, like, No Cap TV, move. to bring all this shit together. You know what I'm saying? And next time, the next show, we're going to have interviews. We're going to have somebody sitting on the couch. Right, you know? who, gonna who's going to be next sitting on the couch? You know? Shit. You got to be able to come in with that shit. You can sit right here on this couch and talk that and, shit and, with and, us. Bro, and don't get your ass on the camera because, like I said, we will pull don't. your motherfucking resume. Yeah, and I, I want to pull it like a. a <laughs> <laughs> a lot of you niggas that be cap, I'm going to sit you here and I'm going to be asking you all them questions. We going to grill their ass like, yeah. uh, what's her name, Bobby Atler? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know? you better have some motherfucking, what they call it, receipts. Right, if you ain't got no receipts, you're getting, you're getting your ass. You can't get no exchange if you ain't got no receipts. But if you got receipts, you know what the fuck I mean. Hey, <laughs> you the whole feel segment, me. cut the cap, man. Cut the cap, you feel me. Hey, man, but like I said, we want to appreciate y'all for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe to No Cap TV, man. Follow yeah. me on Instagram at Rico underscore, uh, damn, what'd I say? Uh, at Nigga, Rico, right, I, I, my account that got took and they keep playing with my yeah, shit. So it's uh, at Rico underscore, damn, at Rico underscore <laughs> infamous. You're going to put it right there. Yeah, it's and get at me at uh, YCM underscore. It's y.c.m underscore Mac Mill. 